guys welcome back to my channel if you're here for the first time welcome to my channel i'm martha and i'm here with another video so if you haven't yet subscribed please feel free to subscribe and join the family also you can click the post notification bell so that you guys are notified each time i post a new video so in today's video as the title says i'll be sharing with you my natural hair journey from the big chop up to this length okay yeah guys so i'll be sharing with you hair tips and what you can do to grow your natural hair or at least things that have worked for me so far so without wasting any time let's get right into the video oh uh side note or oh, whatever news flash today is my birthday so i'm just from having a photo shoot if you know me you know i love to take photos so yeah i had a photo shoot and now i'm here okay so anyway um getting straight into the video I've had uh, treated or relaxed hair all my life. That will come probably in another video. So today I'm talking all things natural hair, but my relaxed girls, I got you. I'll talk about relaxed hair maybe in my next couple of videos, I think. So for today, it's all things natural. So I big chopped in 2019 last year, second, second of January. And this is how short my hair was from the big chop. So I'm going to share with you the things that I started with. Okay, so I started with um, the Kanto Moisturizing Cream Shampoo. So this is what I was using. And then Black Castor Oil, the Kanto Moisturizing Curl Activator, the Kanto Leave-In Conditioner, my Wide Tooth Comb, a spray bottle, what else? I had, um, I started with Umoyo Shea Butter. I'll talk about that a little later. Umoyo Shea Butter and Hair Mayonnaise. So I'll run you through my wash day. I'll wash my hair with the Kanto Moisturizing Cream Shampoo. After that, I'll deep condition with Hair Mayonnaise. So for deep conditioning, you put the conditioner in your hair for, let's say, is it 15 to 30 minutes? I think. The container should have said 15 to 30 minutes and i'm just putting it out there guys if a product says leave in meaning you leave it in and if it says rinse out you simply do that like if it says rinse out after 15 minutes or 30 minutes you do just that don't be extravagant having ideas in your head leaving it for an hour or so like if a if a if a if a product says you leave it in for 15 minutes, then you do just that. Yeah, so I'll deep condition with hair mayonnaise. After that, I rinse it out and I'll go on with moisturizing and I'll braid two kuti or three strand braids. I'll just insert the picture here. So I'll wash my hair every after two weeks, which is twice a month. So I did this hairstyle for the longest time possible until my hair grew and I was able to do like cornrows, mukule and stuff like that yeah so for the longest time i'll do this hairstyle just because my hair was too short and that was what i could afford then so i wash my hair every after two weeks and i still do that to date so um along the line i ran out of black castor oil and at that time i was in Kawe. i checked for black castor oil in all the shops and i couldn't find it that's how come i switched to coconut oil yeah and along the way i also ran out of the hair my nails, which i used to use for deep conditioning so i went on and bought the Kanto rinse out conditioner which i used or which i still use now for deep conditioning also i ran out of the umoyo shea butter and i've been using the kusa shea butter from january yeah from january this year this is actually with shea butter it's a diy with shea butter i'll probably do a video on that sometime soon and yeah that's what i've been using for my hair so guys i just want to run you through things that you're supposed to do or things that have helped me grow my natural hair or think <clears throat> excuse me things that you could do to grow your natural hair so the first one is consistency in everything you just have to be consistent not only here but in everything you do so for natural hair it's like a second job so to speak it's a job on its own so you have to be consistent if you say you'll be washing your hair every after two weeks then stick to that if you say you'll be washing your hair once a week then stick to that if you say you'll be washing your hair once a month you have to stick to that and don't skip wash day there's a reason it's called wash day like it's the whole day you have to dedicate the whole day to your hair so number one consistency 
number two moisturize your hair like moisturize 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 i can't stress that enough and for that i have my spray bottle so in this bottle there's water can't we leave in conditioner and black castor oil so um let's say you're in braids or you're in a protective style so for me i i moisturize my hair using the lock method so l is for leave-in conditioner or liquid which is this o is for oil any oil you want olive oil castor oil coconut oil and then the c is for the cream for the cream it's the sheer butter the sheer butter that i showed you so loc method please use that method of moisturizing your hair do not start with oil or do not start with the cream make sure you always start with water or a water-based product like leave-in conditioner so when you're in braids you can use that routine yeah from washing your hair you can just go in with the leave-in conditioner at least that's what i do i don't use my spray water on wash day for the loc method i just go straight with the leave-in conditioner so guys remember to moisturize also don't only focus on the scalp mainly we just focus on moisturizing the scalp we should also focus on moisturizing our ends because once our ends are weak our hair starts to break off and because hair grows from the roots it's that's that's why people say no my hair is not growing my hair is not growing sis your hair is growing the thing is as your hair grows from the scalp it replaces the hair that has fallen off from your tips so make sure you moisturize your tips for me i do that using black castor oil i'll just put a bit of black castor oil and then like i moisturize my tips also we should learn to cut the split ends split, split ends are very bad for your hair they do nothing but cause stress to your hair so let's not feel castle when it comes to trimming our hair so that's number two moisturize number three you're supposed to know your hair type there are two types of hair types i think there's those with high porosity hair and those with low porosity hair so if someone has high porosity hair that means products water oils are easily absorbed absorbed easily, are easily absorbed in the hair but for those with low porosity hair, they don't, their hair doesn't absorb, absorb, geez, their hair doesn't absorb the, the product or the oils or the water easily. You just see the oils seated right on your hair, like staring at you. So if you've got low porosity hair, your hair doesn't really absorb the products fast. So it's good to take a porosity test and so that you should know your hair type and when you know your hair type your hair will love you because you know the products that your hair love you won't just be buying any products because it works for Martha then it also works for me mm -mm. like what works for me can't work for you so please know your hair type and that way you'll be able to know what product is good for your hair so you can do that in intervals this month you try Cantu next month you try another product and Jackie's and then you weigh or compare the two and see which one works well for your hair so know your hair type Number four, avoid hairstyles that cause stress to your hair. I'm currently battling with hairline problems because back in high school, I used to braid a lot of cotton, so like it stripped off my natural hair and I'm still working on that. There's a product that I'm using to try and grow it. So if, if, it, if my hair grows or shows any improvement, I'll be sure to do a review of the product. So avoid hairstyles that cause strain to your hair because growing growing hairline for my experience is very difficult i apply the same products at the same time to my hair and my hairline but if you see my hairline now guys like it's a strong state and so you have to be patient and avoid as i said hairstyles that strain your hair when you go to the hairdresser like you're the one paying her feel free to tell her like leave my leave my my hairline alone so you can either gel your hairline but you cannot do that laying those edges you can just brush them they're not good like me just brush them and you're good to go there's nothing wrong with moving around with edges that are not made yeah so the fifth one is avoid hair manipulations or in short keep your hands away from your hair hair manipulation today you're in a high puff tomorrow you're in two puffs two days after you're in an afro three days after you're in a slick but in short in a week you can have about five hairstyles that's a no from me and from anyone else like you don't do that keep your hands away from your hair if you're one who loves to touch your hair i would advise you do a protective hairstyle either braids um cornrows twists like just so your hands are out of your hair because 
Um, keeping your hands in your hair or hair manipulation causes stress to your hair. Your hair can fall off and one thing you wouldn't want to do is manipulate your hair while it's wet. That's why you need a spray bottle to do that. So please, if you know you can't keep your hands away from your hair, do make sure that you have a protective style on so that you are not tempted to do anything. The sixth one is never skip deep conditioning. If you decide to wash your hair on a particular day and you decide to skip deep conditioning, I would advise not to wash your hair at all on that day. You would rather run along and do whatever you want to do, but come back and wash your hair when, like, when you're free, like for the whole day. There's a reason it's called wash day. Like, it's the whole day. So when someone tells you, no, I can't meet up with you because I'm washing your hair, like, guys, the struggle is real. Like, if it's me, I've got very coarse hair. So make sure that you dedicate your whole day to wash day and never skip deep conditioning. You can deep condition with uh, hair mayonnaise. I've tried hair mayonnaise. It's very good. Can't rinse out conditioner and rice water. For rice water, you get any rice. You wash it or rinse it and you store it in a container. For me, I love to store it in an old mayonnaise container, like the glass container. Then you add two two cups of water so you can add equivalent maybe a half cup of rice and two cups of water you keep it there to ferment either for 24 hours or 48 hours for me i love to keep it in for 48 hours then when it's time to wash your hair on wash day you shampoo your hair regularly and then you put your rice water you strain the rice water so that the rice particles do not fall into your water bottle you strain the water and then you spray it in your hair in sections. So you spray one section, you do a twist or a kakuti, you spray in sections, you do a kakuti just like that until your whole head is done. Then you put a shower cap over for 30 to 45 minutes. So that's how that's how you deep condition with rice water. So never skip deep conditioning. The seventh one is you have to own a certain bonnet, a certain scarf, or a certain pillow. So I have two satin bonnets with me. This one I bought from Bonnet Kingdom. I'll just put her handle here or in the description box below. It's actually a reversible bonnet. You can either wear it this side if you love pink like me or if you love brown, you can wear it the other side. So it's a reversible bonnet. Then I have this one. I got it from Ulimusuma Hair Services. I'll also put her Instagram handle here. For this one, it's not a reversible one. It's an Ankara or a Chitenge bonnet. Yeah, so... You really need to wear these when you're sleeping, not only in the evening, but also during the day. Like you want to have a nap in the afternoon, make sure you wear your bonnet. At least that's what I do. Because there are some harsh materials like cotton which strip moisture out of your hair. But for these certain bonnets, this is like, it's silk in short and it won't strip out moisture from your hair. So for this up to that I have, this is a twist out. I had twists for a very long time, I think for a month. And I just unraveled my twists today. So today in the evening, I'll be wearing one of my bonnets. And tomorrow morning, my hair will be as good as new. Like it will look the same way that it is looking today. So make sure you invest in a certain pillow, a certain bonnet, or a certain scarf. I wouldn't recommend a certain scarf because I didn't really have a great experience growing up. My grandma would put a, a scarf or a stampala over my hair when going to bed when I'm from the saloon and i wouldn't wake up with it because it fell off during the night i would wake up with it beside me so i wouldn't really advise a certain something but these are really good because they really have a good grip and they're not so tight so they won't cause headaches or anything and when you sleep with them you wake up with them the following morning so that's the last point that's what has helped me with my hair growth and i'm sure it can help help you too and another thing is you have to be patient with your hair you can't you can't go on comparing your hair to someone else's hair because we've got different hair types. We've got different genes. For me, I'm very lucky to have my mother and my grandmother's genes. They've got very long hair. And growing up, all I used to use for my hair was Vaseline. There was this type of Vaseline called Soft Touch. That's the Vaseline I would use. I would do my hair on the same day with my sister. The same person would do our hair. The same person would trim our ends. And you know, there's that myth where people say, no, some people don't have nice hands. If they cut your hair, it will never grow. Yeah, so the same person did our hair. We used the same products. We used the same Vaseline. But my hair grew and my sister's hair was just there like, yeah. So don't compare your hair growth to others because we've got different hair and hair types. And also be patient with your hair, especially the hairline and just your hair in general. You have to be patient with your hair. 
love your hair, learn to nature it and care for it. I know I haven't talked about relaxed hair. I had relaxed hair growing up. So my relaxed sister, my relaxed sisters, I haven't forgotten about you. I'll share with you tips that you can use to help you grow your relaxed hair. So yeah, that's all from me today. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you like this video, please don't forget to thumbs it up, share it with somebody, and click the notification bell so that you guys are notified each time I post a new video. I will see you next time. Bye-bye.